There's a new warning tonight for Florida families. This is the Lone Star Tick, and it's spreading across the state tonight. Good evening. I'm Paul Legrone. And I'm Ashley Glass. In for Laura Harris tonight, these ticks, they're known to bite people and cause infections, too. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella live to show us the places that we all might encounter them. Lauren? Absolutely, Ashley. So it is areas just like this with a lot of trees and very, very dense. It can be a hotbed for ticks and researchers say that's putting your families at risk. Even a year after the bites. Well, even Buck struggles to find the right words. Oh. The child that was a candidate for Mensa now still feels foggy. It's heartbreaking for his mother to see. It is a nightmare. Ticks latched onto Ethan on a Boy Scout camping trip. And we left him in him for three days because we didn't know to check. Ethan was constantly exhausted, had a 104 degree fever for days, and eventually his brain started swelling. Christina says many doctors didn't know what to make of what eventually would be diagnosed as Lyme disease and encephalitis. The pediatrician just like, I've never seen a Lyme rash. I don't know what that is. This lack of awareness among physicians um, and other health care providers in our area is a major problem. Dr. Carrie Clark is a leading Florida researcher on tick based infections. He says the aggressive Lone Star tick is now becoming active and biting in Florida. He says look for an itchy rash and a bump that doesn't go away, along with a headache, fever, and chills, along with other flu like symptoms. If you spot a tick, he says see a doctor immediately. They could be treated early and possibly prevent Lyme infection from getting established in the first place. Now Ethan is starting to return to his normal self. And he is so much better. His teachers tell me that he's like a new kid. But he's still getting medicated seven times a day. They just hope another family never has to face the year they've had. And to avoid ticks, you want to stay on the trails like this, especially when you're in parks or out camping. And remember that ticks are only about the size of a poppy seed in some cases, so they can be very hard to spot. Reporting live in Tampa tonight, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.